So a while back when I was really getting into mechanical keyboards and custom keyboards and things like that, um, I came across one of these mechanical switch testers on Amazon and you know just immediately it gave me this idea and I wrote it down and apparently I've been procrastinating. I wrote down that idea like a year ago but I thought it'd be cool you know maybe if I get a couple of these and you know kind of piece them together you know I just saw nine buttons per side you know maybe we can make it into a little cube like this and make a little like Rubik's Cube keyboard so and yeah I just thought it'd be a fun little challenge a little project to do and you know obviously it didn't to make me better at gaming or anything like that it's just for fun so I believe I have everything I need to go ahead and start building this so I got uh, four switch testers. Uh, two of these are Cherry MX switches. One is Kale Box switches and one is uh, Gatoron mechanical switches. And my plan is just to have four sides of this built. And of course, you know, you're not going to have any buttons on the bottom side. And the back side, I'm going to leave it open for cables and things like that. All right, so it's the next day. I went ahead and painted all these bases flat black. And I also painted all my keycaps over here. Um, they came out pretty good. So now I'm gonna disassemble this keyboard that I don't use that much anymore. And I'm gonna explain to you my theory for what I'm doing. The proper way to do this would to be to get a microcontroller and then solder everything to that and program it. And I don't know how to do that. And I'm sure I could learn, but I just wanted to throw this together and have fun with it. So, you know, call me lazy, but here we are. Since this is already a fully functional keyboard, I'm just gonna use the pre-existing circuitry on here, desolder the switches off of here, and solder on wires to go to my switches on my little project. Because, you know, switches, they're just closing in a circuit, so. So that's my janky little plan. All right, so I just got done soldering wires onto every switch here. Um, I got everything ready to go over here. I'm ready to start soldering over there. And yeah, you know, so much for my shortcut. This is taking forever, so don't ever do it this way. Do it the correct way from the start and don't be like me. All right, so I think I'm finally done wiring all this. You know, this took forever, and as I was doing it, I was just thinking about how this is the worst possible way to go about doing this project, but everything should be good to go. All right, so we're finally here. I'm not happy with how long it took me to get here. I'm not happy with how I got here, but we're here. And this thing is coming out looking pretty great besides, you know, the huge mess back there. We got our nine keys on each side. And because these are switch testers, you know, some of these are linear and some of these are clicky and whatever. So, I mean, it really doesn't feel too bad when you use it. So I've tested every switch, made sure it works. And I guess we're ready to game with this now. All right, so I invite Isaac over just to see what he thinks and have him test it out. What the heck? It's a Rumix Cube keyboard. Oh wait, this, no. What? You can play a game on this. Yeah, that's why I have <laughs> That's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so great. So like, <laughs> you play like that. Like, grab all sides at once. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All yeah. right. So how do I map everything? That's what I was gonna say. How do you want to map everything? Because you can map it however you want. You could do a couple different rounds and do it differently. I feel like starting with the top, just having a normal feel of like WASD would be good. Maybe down here. Yeah, so that's what up. I was thinking too. And then you can have thumb for something and your palm for Yeah. <laughs> just I almost, map all these the same and just palm for grenade. I feel with CSGO, I could probably get away with just the nine on top, but I would yeah. like eventually want to incorporate some of the sides just cause you know, what's the point of making this if, if you're, you're not, not using the side, like grab the whole uh, thing. <laughs> This is gonna give me carpal tunnel. <laughs> yeah, it looks so much. That is backwards. No way, I mapped it to the wrong. Okay, at least it's still. <laughs> That's crouch. Yeah, so I crouch with my pinky. <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're you're <laughs> how did I open the type? No. Said. Hey, 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 hey. He sees you. I nice. see him walk. I need to make it to where like left is this side where we walked it that way. This mm -hmm. way. Do that next for this round. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. Why, why, are you why did I reload? I thought that was the jump button. <laughs> <laughs> did Ooh, I kill him? Through the wall. Oh no, 
that was bad. <laughs> this was bad. <laughs> so, full disclosure, I did test this out a little bit earlier. I did not realize how much muscle memory I'm using when I'm playing FPS games. You know, you have somebody who's never played an FPS game before and they're just horrible and you're like, come on. Yeah. And um, I was just mapping this differently. And if I mapped like a button over here and I'm used to pressing it here, if there is something under that finger, I'll just instinctively uh, and hit that button. I just really didn't realize how much of an advantage you have from playing a game, you know, just having time on it, just being used to it over and yeah. over. You don't have to think about which button you need to push. Uh, you just think, oh, he's gonna shoot me, I need to move to the left. Then there's four sides and there's four directions you walk. Yeah, I was thinking maybe each direction is the middle on each side. Yes. Something ridiculous. Yep, I was gonna say the same thing. So I'll be thinking, forward, that'll, that'll be, be left. Also something we noticed earlier, if you're pressing a button on this side, you have to put a finger somewhere on the other side where you're not pressing a button over there so you could actually have enough pressure to push it down. But yeah, it feels like this is a little too big to actually get my fingers You're gonna have to rotate gonna, your hand. Yeah. So you pretty much just have to walk straight. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm cheating and just walking straight everywhere. That was cold blooded. There's no honor in that kill. There was in that. There kill. was, oh yeah, there Almost. was in the second one. See, I keep pressing the wrong one. I'm just used to my finger already resting on top of what I need. And then my reactions just take over. No! I should just make shoot one of the keys. That would be way That's more fun. That's what I'm gonna say. Alright. That's shoot now. <laughs> so I have to walk and shoot like. But I didn't make the reload. Well, you got ah. somebody on X. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is weird using my thumb. Can I? That's it. Oh, and that's opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's go. All right. You got. Th oh, I have to shoot. You have to shoot. I, have to I, was, shoot. I was clicking, but nothing was happening. All right, I have to shoot and walk. I'm using two hands now. Forward. You got this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I got to remember how to reload. Work. That way. Two. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh! oh. He's still up there. Let's go. Gordon. Ah. No! He is we still got, there. We gotta kill this pumpkin lord guy. This pumpkin lord is going down. Where? Halloween is over. Oh, I have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> there is one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pumpkin lord. No. All right, we're hunting the pumpkin lord, man. I think we let him get second place. No. <laughs> Let's go ruin some people's days. Come on. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, what? 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 That was on him. Nice. Okay, we got it. We got it. It's to the left of us. Okay, him. Ah. Oh, to the left of us. Hey, never mind. Down there. <laughs> the quick communication. Yeah. Got him. Oh. You had to go left one. There's a guy on the helicopter pad. Nice. Down below. <laughs> nice. In the doorway. Oh! Coming up the hole! Oh! oh. oh. Could've got <laughs> four. Oh. oh. Felt good. <laughs> oh. oh! Up there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Headshot. Nice. <laughs> Your hands are like... It's easier to think when I have two hands on the little it Rubik's. It is easier. All right, so I got an idea. If you're doing the mouse, let me get it so I can like hold it up in my hand. Yes. <laughs> I'm so like, uh, like... Uh. Got to put the crosshairs on him. I, I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh. Uh, come on. Uh, it, we, we hit him, but we didn't... We got it his foot. His foot That's is so durable. <laughs> he's he's can just take a shot. <laughs> left, 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 left. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I thought he was in the doorway here. What? Oh, <laughs> I just walk you back when you don't go where I want. <laughs> to the right, to the right, to the right. Nice. No, I, no. <laughs> R resist. Nice. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh. No. You, got, you got you got to aim on. Oh. It's <laughs> nice. It's nice blaming you for everything because yeah. you got the aim job. Up the stairway. Up the stairway. You just take me to the left. <laughs> anyway, imagine if your legs didn't go the way your eyes were looking. They just went wherever they wanted to go. Oh yeah, we got this guy. 
Oh, what was that? Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. You gotta hold it up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in control now. <laughs> I'm the captain. No, I'm the captain. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel like there is a definite gaming advantage with this device I have created? <laughs> no. There's, is there a fun advantage at least? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so what did we learn through all of this? You know, I really need to learn the proper way to make custom keyboards. Um, I'm not that good at painting. I'm not good at a lot of stuff. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, Isaac, for coming over and helping me test it all out. It's fun. And we'll see you on the next video.